All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. We are playing some Kogma in the mid lane on PBE. He just got buffed. Here's the buffs on the screen. His Q got a nice increase of damage, and so did his R. So I'm very happy about this because it makes Kogma viable in the mid lane again. And his playstyle is exactly like Zareth, who I main. So this is good for me. This is another champion we can play all the time and have a lot of fun with. He already was decent, but these buffs are going to make him just straight up good against most mid lane matchups. The downside of Kog'Maw, he, he takes a bit to scale, but other than that, late game, he will run everything over. For against the Lux, we both have barriers, so it's a pretty uh, safe matchup for both of us, farm lane, until one of us gets some sort of lead. She's not going to really get ganked, though, because she has a Master Yu jungle, whereas I have Elise, she will gank early. Darn, the minions run the way and I missed my E. Bad trade by us, because we didn't even hit her. We're just trying to farm and stack our mana flow early, though. About even. I'm up and see us a little bit. So my build this game, I think I'm gonna go Ludens first. I'm not gonna go Tier of the Goddess build. I think it's gonna take too long to scale. But if we know this game's gonna go long, I might pick one up and we'll see. But always Ludens first. See, I was just going for the wave there and my E hit her. Such a big hitbox. Oh yeah, didn't go over my runes. We uh, are going Harvest this game with Cheap Shot, um, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, uh, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. Who got two kills? Okay, bot lane and top. Our mana is getting kind of low. We might have to recall after this wave. I'll let her walk up a bit. That was a good stun. She's going to have to flash here or barrier. Alright, not bad. Gives us time to base now. Yeah, I'm just going to recall now. She'll stay and try and push the next wave. I hope. Let's get a seal and a book. I should make it back by the time it hits right here. Remy, thanks for the 200 stars. The reason I went Harvest this game is because they have a lot of squishies. Where Comet's just for poke. And I think I'm going to delete them later on, so Harvest is just better for scaling. But more risky. Save my Q for the cannon. Let's see, there's Master E here. Oh, that sweeper's still up. Alright, whatever. We got more wards.
Not too worried about Master Yi, not until he hits level 6. Our ult is going to have huge execute damage because it gets increased damage when they're below 40% health. And if they're below 40%, then they're going to get hit by Dark Harvest too. So we might one-shot some people with our ult later on. Lisa's is looking for a gank. I don't think the Lux is going to walk out too far, though. My mana flow at 175. Three more hits. E is top. Fiddle's kind of low, but I ain't walking up there. Let's see. One E and one alt clears the back wave. That's really good because it doesn't even use that much mana. Keep putting points in our E. I'll clear another wave and then I'll recall. We have enough for Lost Chapter. Okay, we have 70. We have a good lead on Lux. I can already feel the buffs on the alt, just using it on the minions. A little bit of extra damage helps. We're going to focus on uh, CDR so we could spam that alt. Uh, the alt hits a power spike at level 11 and 16. It gets increased range and damage at those levels, and it's a big range increase. So hopefully we have Ludens by level 11. Alright, Soraka down. Well, if he picks up a couple kills here, he's going to be a raid boss. He only got one, so that's good. He's just my biggest threat, because he can run at me, and he's going to have a Soraka healing him, so he's going to be very, very strong. We're going to max our Q next. Okay, he is coming behind us, but I'm greeting for this plating. I don't think he has alt, so I could just slow him and walk away. I don't think he's gone mid. He's either on dragon or waiting behind me. But we should be safe. He's going to be bot. Looks like Elise might get him, but he's gonna. she's going to die to E. Hmm. Okay, they're not going for it. They must have saw me. my ward. Let's see, we're at 91 in 10 minutes. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, the tank fiddle has killed a Lowie. We have Blasting Wand or Boots. I'm going to get the Blasting Wand. We want to finish that Ludens ASAP. Let's pick that up. So now we're... How much? Like 600 off Ludens? 500. That's good. A nice slow game so we can hit our power spike. And pop off with the AP Kogma build. see if we can get a harvest here. Nice. This might kill her. She doesn't bury her. Ooh. Ah, she flashed. Alright, that's fine. I got her flash and barrier for my flash. 
And she loses the wave. Oh no, she's staying. I have Elise here, but I have to be careful of a Master Yi just flashing on me. I will stay for another wave just to draw Master Yi mid so he doesn't kill bot lane or top. Push that in. We need one more wave for Ludens, and I only have mana to clear probably half of it. No, I have enough. We'll get it. Okay, our farm's good. I have nothing to help them, so I'm I have to recall here. Hopefully Master Yi doesn't kill them both. But we got uh, our first power spike, which is our first item, which is Ludens. Now we just need level 11. And then I can go so many different items next. I can go Leandri's for more poke damage burn. Uh, Rylai's for a slow. Death Cap for big damage nukes. But I think I'm going to go um, Leandri's next. Oh, while well, he's got him. Or not. Holy shit. That's not good. I'm coming. Oh, I don't know. I guess the tentacle killed him. Wait, this tank fiddle's actually... Wait, where did his health go? There we go. Hmm, I might do a tank fiddle video now. Because I... I think that's actually pretty strong. So let's grab plating. I don't know what Lux was doing in that fight. She was kind of low, I think. Or she never based. Uh, we'll go for one. Two's a bit greedy. I won't be able to get it, but I'm just trying to clear the next wave. You go pick up Sorks here. I think I'm going to do that. Big damage. So my farm is very good. We picked up our first kill. And it wasn't even on the mid laner, so we need to stack up this ultimate hunter. Yeah, I'm gonna go Leandri's next. Wait, he just flashed the Jin ult the wrong way and it actually worked. That was so weird. Lux. I'm gonna try and Q me here. See Master Yi near Dragon. We don't want to give him too many of those. I have blue buffs, so I really should be spamming my abilities on Lux. Oh, we just hit level 11. Now it's super range. He's on dragon. I need to leave. He's gonna come mid next. Yeah, there he is. Harvest yoinked. I just burned through all my mana. I'm gonna go try and take blue buff while I have time since Elise is top ping them the E is up there. I should be able to clear this pretty fast. Our auto attacks do good damage. I'll save the next alt for an execute. This will heal us up so we can stay in lane longer. Alright, let's try and kill Lux. I think she has no flash. It's up in like 30 seconds. I need to hit the slow though to kill her. She's too far away. I just don't want to die to Yi. Okay, he's top. Alright, we might go for it here. Ooh, so close. Turtle got a kill. I get turret, so that's not that bad. We push Lux out of 
plane. I didn't see where Yi went, so I'm gonna back up. We'll clear this next wave and then we'll leave. Master Yi's probably on red or something. So we're going to be a huge late game threat, and so is Yi, but I think our team comp's better. I have some peel, I have some frontline. Let's go... This is a hard choice. I could go death cap next. Let's do the Leandris, though. More poke. Plus it gives us a 10% damage increase for being in combat, and we will be in combat for a while because we're just spamming spells. I'll either go Rylize after this or um, Death Cap, depending on how many kills we get. An enemy has been slain. Okay, she 1v1 Yi. She died. Still good, as long as Yi doesn't get kills. Oh, Lux would MR first. That's why it's hard to kill her, too. So they're going to have double support, pretty much, with a Yi that's going wit send. So it's going to be very tough. Let's see, I guess we'll walk top and kill Fiddle. He has blue buff. He's running. Nice, I got the blue. I just didn't want to walk all the way up here and get nothing. Engaging on Jin. Malawi might be able to pop them. She's going to get kited, though. Is she alive? No. This is not good. Malawi's going to be like all of our physical damage if, uh... Oh my god, that healing. Okay, I got him. I'm going to go for Soraka next. Oh my god, wait, that does so much. If they're below 40%, it pretty much kills them now with these buffs and harvest combined. The only thing I'm lacking with this build is a Presence of Mind. I could have taken that instead of Transcendence and Mana Flow. So if we get a kill, our mana uh, bar just refreshes pretty much. So we have Leandri's, 2,500. It's a pretty big buy. Somebody above me. I'll be fine. Oh, Dragon's up, actually. I kind of want to help my team for this. Or just make sure Master Yi doesn't go for it. Because them having three is not good. Uh, he flashed. So let's just do this. Nice. That stalls us some time in case they get the next one. We at least have another, like, 15 minutes before they get the soul. For 10 minutes. So Leandri's, okay, blue buff, sure. Now I have to clear another wave mid. Oh, this might be bad. Master is very squishy. He's only tanky against us because he has mercs. Okay, he's going Rage Blade, that's good. He's not going straight into a wit's end, so he is going to be killable. I need to go spend my money, though. I have 3,000. Why not tier? 
Um, I don't know. I didn't really want to go into scaling, depending on how fast the game's going to go, but we could pick one up here and start stacking it. It's not a bad idea, because we will be spamming our all. I'll do it. Since we don't have presence of mind either, I will pick up the tier. She's out. Let's run down Aphelios and Soraka. We got big damage. I just kind of have to wait for them to come mid. We're chilling. Oh, I got perfect farm. Let's go. I don't think I can burst them through Soraka. Yeah, hell no. Mastery's on top side, I think. Might have to go Morello's over, um... What is it? Death Cap or Rylize. We could go Morello's Void Staff and then just never get anything else. I gotta focus Soraka, because she's gonna heal him. If Ari wants to go in here, we could do something. SG's bot. There's no way Jin can 1v1 him. I don't know why he's getting so close. What can we purchase? This is going to be a long game. We definitely have to go the Void Staff route, because they will just build MR. Because our Jin isn't really going to do any damage this game, and Alawi is 50-50. Uh, She's either going to run it down or 1v5. We don't know yet. Okay, Ari's going to pick up a turret for us. Cool. I might as well just upgrade this. I'm just stacking up this tier. I see Soraka over here. Tell my team who to go for first, because if we kill Yi, they pretty much lose all their DPS, because... I can kill Aphelios, and the rest of them aren't high damage, they're just straight up tanks or supports. Blue buffs up in 35, we'll probably fight by them. Oh, okay, we're just rushing it. Little ult. Okay, everyone just said fuck the dragon. Alright, perfect. Alawi got the, the E. Can we just outsmite them? Oh, I'm deleting their backline. Oh, we got it. Nice. I think he's going to flash over the wall. I have no mana. Not even going to chase. See our ult? When we spam it a bunch, it can cost up to 400. So we will go oom um in like three shots when it's fully stacked up. But that was good. We got the dragon. 
If we can get the soul, it's actually really good for me because it gives us mana regen when we hit them. So we are going to buy the Archangels here because we do need all this mana. I'm going to stack it up while I'm in base. There's no wave mid, so we can just chill here. So I think the next item is going to be a Void Staff. We have to get through that uh, Magic Resist. Oh, we're about to hit 16 also, which is a huge power spike for us. Our ult gets even longer range. Look how far it is now. Oh, Master Yi just flashed. Oh, he's dead. See if he runs this way or to blue. I think he's going to clear either Gromp or Wolves here. Yep. There we go. We got the damage. At least died. I got a clear bot. I gotta do this quick because they're gonna take my mid turret. It's another cannon wave? What the hell? They might try and catch me over here. I'm gonna take the long way. I wasn't paying attention where they walked. Yeah, he's going wits end next. We're going to be lacking um, physical damage. Oh. Yeah, he just got healed the full, like, twice there. I can still chase. <laughs> Look how far I'm hitting him from. <laughs> Holy shit. And we just hit 16 too. Let's see our range. Look how big that is. We almost have Void Staff. If she beats this... Oh, they might kill Fiddle. Got a tiny chance. I'm gonna go grab Void Staff. We're huge now. Sell this by that. And this is almost stacked up. I'm using abilities till I see a cooldown, then I wait, and then I use ability. Try not to use the ult too much because it uses a lot of mana. Just gotta make sure Master Yi doesn't get a reset here. No, don't run away from the team. Okay, that's fine. If he walks over here, we can kill him. <laughs> I can kite their whole team. So I got blue buff and uh, archangels almost stacked up. I'm going to wait for my ult to reset, then I'm going to go ham on this sriracha. She's going to try and heal him. I think I got her. Oh, she flash. Where did his health go? Got a barrier this. I think I can survive. Nope. I think I'm dead if Mashi has uh, ult. I'm so dead. Oh my god, the Seraphs literally just activated. 
Like, I just upgraded in the middle of that fight. Played that very clean. And we get the next dragon, which is good. I should heal the full just going over here, and there's no threat. God bless the tank fiddle for not one-shotting us, but he did do a lot of damage. Look how fast this shoots. It's insane. Or machine gun. Oh, that scared me. Thought it was like a Lux laser or something. So last item, I guess I'll upgrade this to Magi's for now, and then when I get enough money, I'll sell it for something else, like either a Morello's or a Deathcap. I can kind of burst through their healing, so I might not need the Morello's. I could tell my team to get some. Elise has it, but we need it on Ari also. I'm just sniping him from- look how far I am, I'm just standing still over here. Look at this, I'm so far! Oh, I'm out of mana. Uh-oh. <laughs> Retreat! I gotta wait for my uh, ult to reset. Okay. This might kill her. Yep. Look at that. Does a thousand damage. This is insane. I'm so excited to play more AP Kogma. I hope you guys want to see me play this more. I'll probably do some on my second channel too. He's a mage again. Can we end? Master Yi's up and I have no mana. I don't want to do this. But I do want some minions. Time to leave. I can't help you. See, I either sell the Magi's for something or I keep it. Probably keep it till I could sell it for a death cap. Because the move speed's nice for chasing people. I don't even have the Rylai's either on my ult. I just have so much range this late in the game, I don't even need to slow them. My E is good enough slow. Oh, that just barely missed her. I don't want to tunnel on her too hard. She got away. He's done so. Let's see if we could chase Soraka. Not gonna lie, Soraka and Lux kind of look the same with those skins. I'm not scared of him. He has no damage items. What are we doing against this guy? I don't think she beats him. And Jin's just pushing mid, so we might as well stay. Oh, the charm hit. Wait, I couldn't even see my character. I think I just got perma CC'd. Damn. I guess my barrier wasn't up. I pressed it. I think I was silenced, so I couldn't do anything. Ouch. Alright, rip. Hopefully we don't lose Baron off that. I think we do, though. Just playing dumb. Let's sell this. Get a death cap instead. It couldn't Barrier or Seraph Steros silenced.
I don't think they're on the Baron, which is good. He needs to hit this plant. What the hell? Get us vision. I think they're going to Dragon. Yeah, they're definitely on Dragon. Okay, she got healing reduction. That's good. She could catch something here. This is a good fight. This is a good fight. Okay, maybe not. Where am I going? I can't even see my health anymore. They're not dying. Okay, that guy died finally. Master, you never win in. Those heals, though. You're dead. Nope. Don't even try. We can fight. I have no mana, though. We do have all five people, so if we just chill mid... We could probably end, because all their engage is down. Gotta kill Ophelios and Yi. I'm just gonna stand by Alawi. I melt the turret. I got range. Maybe I should just go for ending the game, since I don't have mana to kill them. How did he? Oh no! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Quit healing him. Alright. GG guys, if you enjoyed the AP Kogma game, make sure you like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I put these videos out every day, two of them on both of my channels. So let's check out the damage chart. I'm gonna give it to. I don't know, they all played well. Couldn't ask for a better AP Kogma game, honestly. First try. 57k damage, here's our rune stats. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video, thank you for tuning in.